suis Jean-Côme Delaloy. I was born in Monte, grew up in Lausanne. Uh, I'm the US correspondent for Tribune de Genève and 24 Heures. And uh, I'm a filmmaker who, who has a film uh, now in the Tribeca Film Festival, a film called Harm. Uh, I came to New York in 2002, the first year of the Tribeca Film Festival, actually. And so that's why it's really important for me to be there. Um, and I was, I came here for the Tribune de Genève in 24 Heures. I was the US correspondent, uh, so I covered everything. Uh, and uh, my job was to open the New York Bureau. We were moving the Bureau from uh, Washington DC to New York. And I was a very young journalist uh, who could speak English and who had been in crazy situations before. Like uh, they, they thought I was the right person to, to do this. And so I was here for four up to five years. I was supposed to go back to Switzerland. And I just need not to go to back to Switzerland and start, you know, become independent here and like uh, start making films. If I think back, uh, I had my life planned out in Switzerland. You know, like uh, I was a young reporter. I was, I was coming here. I was going back. I was. I knew exactly what I was going to do. And New York just changed me. Like it took me on a journey that I could never have imagined. Uh, and because, you, you know, when you come to New York, you're surrounded by people like you. People who come here, they don't know what they're going to do. They're going to figure it out. And they, they're here to try. And I tried. And so instead of going back to the newspaper I came from, I, decided, I started making film. I knew nothing about films. Uh, I just started making them. Uh, and I was lucky to have editors and, and cameramen who, who were in the same situation as I was. And, uh, and that's how it came about. So yeah, New York, uh, I never played music before coming to New York. I started playing music. I never boxed before coming to New York. I started boxing. And that's all these things I could never have thought growing up in Switzerland, because it's just not the way I'd been raised and uh, I'd been envisioning my life. I mean, you were asking about New York, uh, the impact of New York. I mean, this is a New York film. I mean, this is uh, the most unlikeliest, the unlikeliest story you can think of. It's, uh, it's just a, a lawyer named Holly. Uh, he works 15 minutes away from New York City on the other side on, of the river in New Jersey. Uh, he's uh, 53 now. He lives with his mom. He's one of the most successful criminal defense attorney in, in Patterson. He's the, the lawyer of the gang members. Or they go like, and um, one day he falls in love with a Swiss woman he met on the internet that you would, you would never see in the, in the film. Uh, but he falls in love with this woman from Missouri. And he, dec uh, he decides to go to prove his love to her. And um, his idea of proving his love uh, is like to get into a fight like get ready for a fight, an MMA fight, an underground fight in Brazil against a young guy. And uh, he gets ready for this. So a 53 year old against a 30 year old for a woman who, who doesn't want to be, to have anything to do with this fight. And uh, so that's the story. And uh, that's a documentary. And like, we follow him on this journey, on this quest. It's hard. It's, I'm not, uh, film is a different way of doing uh, my job. I'm, I'm a reporter, like, and so I felt like at some point, like the reporter goes in, in and out of story very quickly. And I felt like I want to spend more, much more time to the story. So that's why I'm doing this, the film. Uh, it makes my life really hard to do two things at the same time. Uh, and when you're shooting and you have to write stories, that's always difficult. But it's always, but it took me, the re reporting and journalism gave me, taught me how to tell a story and to package it and like to, to think about your audience and like, because I come from mass media and uh, so it's, uh, it's very complimentary in a way, but like it's, right now it's difficult because uh, filmmaking takes a lot of time. I would probably um, do an immigration story. Uh, yeah, an immigration story.
relax. Yeah, I came here and like, uh, I thought I knew everything in a way. I thought, you know, like I was very, I, I was, you know, my life had been fairly easy. Like Switzerland is, you know, you get great schools, great college, you get out of college, you get a great job and everything is planned out for you. And New York gives you a few heads and like uh, teaches you a few lessons, it makes you relax. The fearlessness to fail, I think. You know, you try. And um, I, I think failing is, is part of uh, life here. It's not a stigma. You know, like this idea that when you go back to Switzerland and, and you go on an outdoor patio like with some friends and there's something beautiful, you know, there's something uh, here is that's that's probably sometimes a bit more transactional here like a relationship come and go faster like in Switzerland there's something deep and uh, you know like uh, I can go back to Lausanne and which I will do so uh, in in a, in a few weeks for the first time in two two years or so and I know I'll have my friends some of my friends there and uh, it's gonna be as if I hadn't left